When you examine Eminem's lyrics, even from the Slim Shady LP era, you'd realize that Eminem does a lot of reading and draws inspiration from areas where most rappers couldn't, even in their wildest dreams. And in more recent years, regardless of how you feel about Eminem's music now, is technically ahead at the moment than he ever was. And this was perfected in Eminem's Marshall Mathers LP2 album, where Eminem showed that even the best can still improve their art. On his latest album, for instance, a great example of bars with several layers to it was in Lucky You and towards the end of Eminem's verse, Eminem stated, it's still the same Marshall, that outlaw, that the CSR writer might have fell off and back on that bull like the cowboy. The amount of layers to these final bars are insane and I take credit for finding out one of the additional meanings to these bars that you couldn't find anywhere else on the internet. These bars were also a reference to a professional bull rider, popularly known as Chase Outlaw, that fell off, got injured and came back strong. Now pause for a minute to take that reference in and see how it fits perfectly with all the other meanings you could draw out from those bars and you'll understand how Eminem's ability at the moment on the mic is above younger Eminem and in my opinion above everyone else in hip hop at the moment. If you didn't see my breakdown of Lucky You, click the link that pops up at the top right corner now and prepare for some mind blowing revelations. Now drawing out meanings from complex bars with several layers requires some thinking and even the best of us miss bars all the time and feel stupid later on which draws us to the point at hand we're about to focus on. Eminem talked about slowing it down for the speds which are those in need of special education or retards on homicide because as soon as he goes off bars go over heads and proof of this is the difference between not a like and kill shot. Where in Killshot, Eminem slowed it down to make sure even the speds didn't do too much thinking to decipher the bars and now even scientific studies seem to agree with Eminem and it's no wonder lyrical rap has taken a backseat for many younger hip hop fans especially. Recent studies have revealed that IQ scores have been dropping for decades and environmental factors are to blame like education and technology. I spoke about this in a previous video about how social media is affecting overall attention span of people, but apparently it's also affecting intelligence. The flow of information is faster than ever and initially guessing the effects this would have on intelligence back in the day would be that people will become smarter because they could access information at lightning speeds and learn but in reality the opposite is the case. So much information but what good is it when people can't interpret what they are seeing, which is why it's so easy to spread fake news and have people in the millions believe it on social media, like Eminem has been irrelevant since the Eminem show. Takes a special kind of mind to believe such nonsense, don't you think, since the facts say otherwise, but that didn't stop some from believing it and now we have another factor that's probably responsible backed by science intelligence is steadily falling. No wonder mumbo rap was born since you don't even have to listen to the lyrics anymore so no thinking is required at all, just nod to the beat. What are your thoughts? Tell us below, subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next video.